Welcome back to Hannity. There is a disturbing new poll out that should worry every single American. According to a new survey by Rasmussen, reports those who approve of President Obama's job performance when asked what the bigger threat to the United States is today, well, 29% of them said radical Muslims. 26%? They said the Tea Party. Pretty shocking. Now, I wonder why people would have such a negative impression of the Tea Party. Well, just maybe it's because of comments that liberals like this have made. This country has been driven by the Tea Party for the last number of years. They are doing everything they can to throw a monkey wrench into any form of government. We've made a real effort to show the face of the Tea Party. All the placards up there, the sort of Hitler mustaches, the, the black face, if you will, superimposed on the face of uh, Barack Obama. I think they're astroturf. Uh, oh, you be the judge of carrying swastikas and symbols like that to a, a town meeting on health care. Despite the complete lack of any evidence linking the president to the targeting of Tea Party groups, Republicans are using it as their latest weapon in the war against the black man in the White House. While we discuss our very real concerns, let us all remember who the real enemy is. And the real enemy is the Tea Party. Well, the Republicans and the Tea Party, well, they're just bullying their way around the country, aren't they? Trying to steal the election with violence, intimidation, and basically fear-mongering. With four days to go, thuggish behavior from the right is erupting all over the country. I thought he got canned. Anyway, joining me now with reaction, radio talk show host Dana Lash, Fox News political analyst Kirsten Powers. Dana, what's your reaction? Who knew, Sean, that people who show up with lawn chairs and coolers f full of, you know, Capri Sun packs could be so terrifying and intimidating? I guess if you fear a limited government and adherence to the Constitution, then yeah, I guess you'll be terrified. I did wonder how many of these individuals polled, what, this 26, 29 percent? How many of them work for the IRS? Good point. Kirsten? <laughs> Has it gone over it the top? Yeah, I think it was 26%. And I feel like you can get around 20% of people to say almost anything. There was a poll a couple months ago of 20% of Republicans think Obama's the Antichrist, for example. So I'm not going to read too much into this in terms of what, what Democrats think. I will say that the Tea Party has been unfairly demonized. There's, there's no question about that. And I think that um, you know, if, if people who follow them closely and understand what they're really about will realize that they really are about limited government. I don't agree with them, but they're not, the, the, they're not what they've been portrayed as by a lot of Democratic leaders. You know, we've done two specials now with the horrible treatment of, of black conservatives in America. Let me give you the latest example. And I, I ask again, is Tom Brokaw and Brian Williams and Matt Lauer proud of their news network saying this about Clarence Thomas? Clarence Thomas's actions here today, though consistent, uh, though tragic to me, are even more so in light of the, the bulk of decisions he's rendered in the name of a judicial vote on the Supreme Court. A symbolic Jew has invited a metaphoric Hitler to commit Holocaust and genocide upon his own people. In, in, in light of everything that we discuss in, you know, in the country, Dana, what's your reaction to that? I, I'm just at the, I'm at the point where really I mean I'm just at the point where I'm kind of throwing up my hands and asking really I mean especially where it concerns Clarence Thomas there was a Democrat from Minnesota in the state legislature who called him an Uncle Tom on Twitter and then turned around and had to apologize for it because apparently this white Anglo-Saxon Protestant from Minnesota knew more about what it is to be black than Clarence Thomas growing up in the segregated South but that aside this is you know and I do disagree with Kirsten a little bit and that I think this is this is what Democrat voters have been hearing, not just from the media, Sean, but they've been hearing it. You heard the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, saying that basically we're Nazis. You hear people, you know, on competing networks that nobody watches sit here and de demonize the Tea Party. They've been hearing this day in and day out. And the thing that gets me the most about this is this 26 percent of people who strongly approve of Barack Obama's job approval, and they think that the Tea Party is more of a threat than Islamic terrorism. These people think that the Occupy movement, that only garnered like two percent of fear. Just this month, there was, uh, I think, a judgment coming down in Ohio. You had occupied Cleveland. They had five men charged with uh, plotting to blow up the Cuyahoga, uh, the Cuyahoga Valley Bridge out there. I mean, this is that's kind of par for the course with that movement. And yet they only ended up with two percent. It's, it, it's a media fabrication. Yeah.
Kirsten? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised that, that there would, I, I frankly would expect a higher percentage of Democrats to disapprove of the, of the Tea Party because they are so demonized. What's more troubling, I think, is that it's equated here with, with Islamic terrorism. And there's this idea that is, is pushed by a lot of people on the left that the real threat to us are these alleged right-wing extremists uh -huh. um, who are supposedly operating like Al-Qaeda, even though well, that's not really the problem. That, 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 that's a no demonstrable problem. Yeah, but I'm fed up. I, it's really disgusting. It's despicable. Clarence Thomas, his entire professional career on the Supreme Court has had to put yeah, up it, with this garbage, starting with... It's racism. Right. I mean, it it's is racism. racism. It's completely racist. And it's racist. accepted by the it's left because the left tolerates it. Yeah. No, it's patronizing. It's, it's you know, and, it's and I racist. think that... And, you know, and I am not a person who agrees with I know really you almost don't. anything not, that he says. I know says, you don't. I know you, know? you don't. But, but it is absolutely out of, out of bounds, I think. Yeah. All right. Thank right. you both. Good to see you. Dana, welcome. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Seriously, appreciate it. Thanks.